All right, pay attention to this. TED Talk, February 2010. Uh, Bill Gates. Okay, I've listened to this over and over, and I've read some of the comments. Listen for yourself. Leads to some very negative effects. The effects on the weather, uh, perhaps worse, the indirect effects in that uh, the natural ecosystems can't adjust to these rapid changes, and so you get ecosystem collapses. Now, the exact amount of how you map from a, a certain increase in CO2 to what temperature will be and where the positive feedbacks are, there's some uncertainty there, but not very much. And there's certainly uncertainty about how bad those effects will be, but they will be extremely bad. I asked the top scientists on this several times, do we really have to get down to near zero. Can't we just you know, cut it in half or a quarter? And the answer is that until we get near to zero, the temperature will continue to rise. And so that's, that's a big challenge. It's very different than saying you know, we're a 12 foot high truck trying to get under a 10 foot bridge and we can just sort of squeeze under. This is something that has to get to zero. Now we put out a lot of carbon dioxide every year, uh, over 26 billion tons. Uh, for each American, it's about 20 tons. Uh, for people in poor countries, it's less than one ton. It's an average of about five tons for everyone on the planet. So bear with me. We're getting to the, we're getting to the point. It's only going to be maybe a couple more minutes. And somehow we have to make changes <clears throat> that will bring that down to zero. It's been constantly going up. It's only various economic changes that have even flattened it at all. So we have to go from rapidly rising to falling and falling all the way to zero. This equation has four factors, a little bit of multiplication. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Now that's back from high school algebra, but let's, let's take a look. Uh, first we've got population. Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now if we do a really great job on new vaccines, health care, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. But there we see an increase of uh, about 1.3. The second factor. Okay, so you can go back and you can listen through the whole, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole video. He focuses on um, um, like energy sources. So this was like, you know, just a blip on the, on the, me on the um, speech. But I've gone and listened to this over and over and I've looked at the comments, and it just sounds like he means what he says. So you do the math. But I recommend you, you all go back and listen to this video. Go to the TED Talk channel. Look up February uh, Bill Gates from February 2020, 2010, and listen to the whole thing. And I think um, it's a pretty good... Um, uh, you know, almost like a prophetic view of what we're dealing with today. Um, in fact, I, I, wouldn't, I would imagine that a lot of people um, who want to please Bill Gates, because he's so rich and powerful, are in our government. And I think, you know, maybe the governments are competing to make his wish come true. So if you listen to the whole video, this um, my little s snippet here will make sense. Okay? Thanks for watching and listening.